interesting story here. Gennady Golovkin is suing Golden Boy for at least $3 million for money they owe him from the Canelo rematch. <laughs> and that was a long time ago, right? That was 2018. And he's suing them for money owed from then. It says here that Golovkin is seeking not less than $3 million in damages for profits owed mostly from gate receipts and sponsorships. Golovkin also wants interest on the $9,025,351 it took Golden Boy nearly three years after the fight to pay him. Golden Boy made its final installment on that debt last July 6. Now, I think we can all pretty much guess why Golden Boy have been a bit tight for money over the past couple years. And that is because Canelo Alvarez left them. The entire Golden Boy business really revolved around Canelo. He leaves and it leaves a massive financial hole in their business. If Canelo hadn't left, they probably would have paid Golovkin sooner than this. But, but, but the fact that Canelo left, I think, has uh, stretched them financially to say the least. So Golovkin's a guy who's always been about his money. I know that there was this little cult that developed around Golovkin where they're like, oh, he's such a nice guy and he's so fair and you know, he's such a good, good guy with a good heart. People projecting all this kind of stuff onto Golovkin. I actually quite liked it when the no more Mr. Nice Guy Golovkin came out. And that really started after, I don't think it was after the first Canelo fight. I think it was after the second Canelo fight. The no more Mr. Nice Guy, real Gennady Golovkin came out. <laughs> and he showed that he was all about his money. <laughs> and I respect that. Because at the end of the day, it's a dangerous sport. You've got to be all about your money. And he got rid of Abel Sanchez. You know, that's one of the things that made people start looking at him a bit different. Like, wow, he got rid of Sanchez. People thought they were thick as thieves and inseparable. But no, Golovkin was like, look, I'm not paying you a percentage. <laughs> you can get a flat fee. Because apparently he was on a percentage before. But Golovkin, I think, got the DAZN deal and then after that said, no, I'm not going to pay you a percentage again. You'll get a flat fee. And Abel Sanchez was horrified by that. In fact, Abel Sanchez has actually retired from boxing. I'm not sure how much the Golovkin situation played into that, but he's retired from boxing, which is interesting, isn't it? Obviously, he's not a young guy, but you see many trainers go on until they're, well, pretty much in the <laughs> one foot in the grave. But Abel Sanchez is not one of those guys excuse me, one of those guys, I guess he wants to enjoy his life and what have you, but you do wonder if he still had a Golovkin or a fighter of that caliber, of that ilk, whether he'd still be training. Uh, and maybe the Golovkin situation left a bit of taste in Abel Sanchez's mouth because he seemed to be really hurt by that. By the fact that Golovkin only wanted to give him a flat fee and not pay him a percentage because as Golovkin's purses get bigger, Abel Sanchez was hoping that his <laughs> pay was going to get bigger rather than getting a flat fee. Anyway, Golden Boy suing, excuse me, Gennady Golovkin suing Golden Boy for at least three million owed from the Canelo rematch, as he should. Get that money, get what you're owed. Don't let nobody F you over. That's what I say. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about, and of course, this news is going to make people very, very cautious about doing uh, deals, doing fights with Golden Boy. If a guy of the status of Golovkin is getting messed around for that long and it's taking them years to pay him, like five years, well, four years, if he got paid uh, the last installment last June or July, whatever it was, it took like four years to pay the guy. <laughs> and Golovkin described it all Golovkin's people described it somewhere here in this article as an interest-free loan, which obviously Golovkin didn't consent to. <laughs> but, uh, but Golden Boy managed to get this interest-free loan. Crazy. Hopefully, Golovkin will get the money he's owed and uh, maybe Golden Boy get a penalty, an extra penalty or something. I guess that would be the interest that Golovkin is claiming for. So let me know what you guys think about it all in the comments below.